I will never forsake you. Mm. And he says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should... Ah, he has nothing to repent over. If I said it, said God, I'll do it. If I spoke it, I will make it good. Oh, thank God today that he, his word, amen, has stand the test of time throughout generations. And thank God today that not only God's word has stand the test, amen, of your situation. Now, could you share with us when, at what point you had, in all of the experience, did you come to consciousness or awareness that people were? Um, I could remember mm. hearing my auntie mm -hmm. and her trying to wake me up. Yeah. <laughs> by the um, by the, the beating on my the chest. Bang! Yes. <laughs> and her telling me that I have to grab her hand. Okay. Before she goes. Yes. And it, I was trying in my head to do it, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I did. Okay. And then, I don't know what happened afterwards. Right, so that was kind of a semi-conscious, mm -hmm. yet on, it's sort of semi-consciousness mm -hmm. that someone was trying to communicate with you and so on. Mm -hmm. So that would be the first experience um, of consciousness or semi-consciousness. Was there other times before you came through that you remembered anything else? No. Nothing else. Okay. Now we 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 went we went back to the hospital after praying a whisper in the ears over three times, and actually at one point we held your hands, we saw your feet move. We yeah. said to you to move your feet, and you begin yeah. to move your feet, and your, hands. Yeah, your hands started yeah. to move, and Sister Curtin got all excited. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> she was looking, with yeah. your eyes open. Yes, at one point you opened your eyes as well, and then. Then, yeah, because we said, open your eyes and look at it. Okay, I'm not leaving you until you open your eyes. Open. <laughs> and you opened your eyes and you closed them back. So, <laughs> there you are. Now, yeah. the, there was a point then where we came back to the hospital, I think the fourth time, and we saw something that we had not yet seen before, mm. and it was a good sign. Mm. I think at that point, they had removed the dialysis machine. Yeah, they removed the... Is no, it, no, no the, the life support the machine. Support, yeah, the life support yeah, machine. Yeah. And we felt, wow, Lord, you're answering our yeah, prayer. Yeah, step by step. <laughs> You'll come back home and say, Devil, <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Every plan, every plot, every scheme, and every wild of the devil is coming to not in the name of Jesus because we trust God and our focus will not be broken. As a matter of fact, we will be stronger in our focus. Because we have to focus both for us and we have to focus for Natalie. And we thank God that we came back after that. And then the they had taken away all, all, all these various um, uh, monitors that monitor the, the, the body, the tubes, and what have you. And we came back again. We went back home. Lord, thank you. Devil, come here. Because I'm saying to you that God is dismantling every plot scheme while that you have planned for Natalie's life. You're not going to have her life. God has given us a sign. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And then we came back the third time. And then the dialysis machine was gone. Yeah. And um, the dialysis machine. And she was talking. Yeah. <laughs> she was up. At one when we came and we saw you, we thought, wow, thank God, the devil's power is broken, and God has victory, and has given the victory. And let me just say this to many of you, if you have a loved one in the hospital you're trusting God for, please don't go there binding and loosening and loosening and binding. Why not just whisper a verse of scripture, a verse of scripture? By faith into their ears. Just whisper it. Just whisper it. And just leave it. Because the work is not in how much energy you have to pray. As a matter of fact, it has nothing to do with you. And what you can do. All God asks you for is faith. And what is faith? If it's not believing God for what he already said. Can you believe it without having to be... Speaking in towns and, and, and sort of exerting all this energy. Why not learn to trust God 
in silence. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The Lord is good to them that wait for him to the person that sees him. It is good to do it silently for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Malachi said, as for me, I will watch expectantly for the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Hallelujah. And then he charged the devil, rejoice not over me. Uh, when I follow my enemy, I will rise. rise again. And that's what we say. We say, Lord, we say, devil, she will rise again. Yeah. I don't care what you try to do. She will rise again. Why? Because we have silently waited on the Lord yes. our God. Hallelujah. Glory. And what we have noticed is this. You cannot tell God when to get the thing done. You have to trust him. Because it's a process. Everything that in relation to God is a process. Mm -hmm. So that's the process for us. We have this built-in system that we want it done now, and we believe God for the now. We'll give God a week, maybe two weeks. Some, the most is a month. But when it comes into waiting on God for the same thing for three long years, there's scriptural because the Bible tells us Elijah had to wait to see rain three years. But you got to trust God, that God is in absolute control mm -hmm. of the situation. Mm -hmm. And thank God. Then we came back one day and we couldn't even find her. <laughs> because downstairs in the hospital bed, guess what she was doing? Downstairs in the hospital, I should say. In the entrance, there is a, a, a Burger King and there is a, <laughs> <laughs> another <laughs> outlet selling some kind of food. And there she was downstairs trying to buy, was that burgers or what were you trying yeah, to buy? Trying to buy. A, a Burger King, <laughs> trying to get a Burger King. Could you imagine that? She was saying, devil God is the king uh, and I'm having a burger. <laughs> and uh, we were so blessed to see her there. Mm -hmm. And then to, uh, we came back in there, we got the news that she will soon be um, 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 oh. released mm -hmm. from that uh, admittance. And thank God that Natalie, uh, was really sensitive. Oh, yeah. First thing that Natalie said, the first thing, oh pastor, I can't wait to get to church. I want to give my offering. <laughs> I want to give Thank my God. offering. <laughs> I mean, that's the last thing I thought that anyone would have on their minds. <laughs> but Natalie says, oh, oh pastor, I can't wait. I, I want to get to church on Sunday because I want to give my offering. Oh, bless God. And what the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us, therefore, um, offer unto God the sacrifices praise. of praise. Uh, I will offer the sacrifice of praise unto God unto continually, you. which is the offering or the praise oh, of my lips. lips. Glory be to God. Give giving glory to or giving thanks to his name. And she was there. She gave an offering to God. Yeah. Amen. Not just a financial offering, but an offering of thanksgiving. Yeah. Returning thanks to God. Just like the ten lepers. Mm. Uh, one return thanks to God. And that was the one that moved from the point of healing to the point of wholeness. Mm. And thank God here Natalie yes. is. And we just give God praise yes. for her. Amen. And we bless yes. God because God alone is able to do Holy exceeding God. abundantly above all we can ask or even think of. Amen. And again, as the word of God says, when you go through the water, the great troubles, I will be with you. And through the rivers, those difficulties, I, the Lord, I'm not going to turn myself away from you. And he says, when you walk through the fires, they shall not, not consume burned. you. Yeah. They will not burn you. Today, we believe that the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same God of the widow, mm -hmm. the widow and the widower, the same God that turned two fishes and five loaves and fed a multitude, the same God that healed uh, Lazarus, the mm. same, God same God that healed, uh, stopped the procession and brought death to life again. Oh, the, yeah. same the same God that touched the life of the little girl. Amen. That very same God touched Natalie's Amen. life. I believe. And the Bible said, ye shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of her testimony here today. May you be blessed.